Hey singers, I'm Justin Stoney, the founder of New York Vocal Coaching, welcoming you to episode 121 of Voice Lessons to the World. I'm joined today by one of the world's top distortion experts, Nicholas Hormazaba. Nicholas is on the cutting edge of the science behind vocal distortion. Research studies, high-speed camera imaging, education, you name it. Welcome to Nicolás. Hola a todo el mundo. Hi everybody, I'm Nicolás Armazábal from Chile. Thank you, Justin. Great to have you. For the next five episodes, Nicolás and I are going to walk you through the world of rasp and distortion. What distortions can we do? How do we do them? And how do we do them safely and sustainably? Today's topic, growls. Nicholas, hit us with your best growl. Yes, of course I can. <laughs> okay, good. Can I try one of those? Yep. Yeah, yeah, right there. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Nice, really nice. Okay, thank you, thank you. All right, so now a few quick disclaimers about rasp and distortion. Number one, distortions should not hurt. They are not loud. The microphone does the work. They're usually much less aggressive and much more subtle than we think. They're not damaging to the voice if done properly. Distortions take time. Be patient with yourself and study with an expert if you can. So, Nicholas, growls, how would you describe this distortion? I describe it as a distortion who tends to be more flappy than others and it's really dark in comparison with the other distortions and it's really useful for CCM singers in general. Yeah. Awesome. Well, let's come up with a formal definition here. Growls are a bulbous or rattling quality thought to be produced by the arytenoid cartilages vibrating at the back of the larynx along with the epiglottis, which is pushed back by the tongue. Now let's listen to a few singers using growls. I see skies of blue Clouds of white What's going on? to do growls. Let's look at three strategies. First one, character voices. So there's some character voices we can do, right? Yeah, we have, for South American people, we have Don Francisco and he speaks like this with a lot of canoe. Yeah. And sometimes he says uh, uh, something like, vamos a ver, and he <laughs> uses a lot of growl on, on his voice. Okay, yeah. all right, Don Francisco, who else? Yeah, um... Master Yoda, too. Oh, yes. yeah, Yoda, Yoda. Yeah. very good. Yes. Okay, love that. Uh, uh, what, what about Kermit the Frog? Would that be... Yeah, uh, could Kermit, Kermit, yeah. Uh, or yeah. Miss Piggy? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course, yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, good. It works. Yeah, uh, Louis Armstrong? Louis Armstrong, yes, of course. I said, Louis, Louis, Red Roses, too. Yeah, that's <laughs> great. Course. Great, great. So we can start playing with these character voices as a first step. Second strategy, canurdle. We've talked about the canurdle before on the show. Go back and check out that full episode. But basically, the canurdle is a clenching of the root of the tongue, the hyoglossus muscle. Squeezing this muscle brings the tongue and larynx closer together. And you get that kind of cartoony quality. Go ahead and tense the back of your tongue. Feel a contraction right here. Uh -huh. ah, that's it. If you're doing it right, this area should get firm. From there, your throat is in the right position for the distortion. Uh. Now, the third strategy, throat clearing with tongue. So, throat clearing. Yeah, we can use throat clearing plus carnal. Mm. So, the main idea is try to 
thinking on swallowing your tongue and then clear your throat. <coughs> yeah, that's a way of produce uh, growling. You can also produce a growling with or without the pitch. Without the pitch sounds like <laughs> and with a pitch sounds like <laughs> yeah. Cool, cool. So yeah, so combining that canurdle uh, with that throat clear, <laughs> <coughs> putting them together. Yeah. yeah. Okay, excellent. Well, I hope this gets you off to a good start with growls. In our next episode, we're gonna take a look at rasp. <laughs> yes, false fold distortion. If you're a voice teacher looking to train distortions, or if you're a singer looking to master distortions, here's how to get rockin'. If you'd like to sing with rasp and distortion, visit newyorkvocalcoaching.com slash distortion. If you're a voice teacher wanting to teach rasp and distortion safely to your singers, please visit voiceteachertraining.com slash distortion and become part of our worldwide community. To get your copy of Justin Stoney's book, Sing Like Never Before, visit singlikeneverbefore.com. If you'd like a vocal course that you can do from home, check out the Voice Lessons to the World vocal course. Our 12-part program takes you on a journey from beginner to master level vocal exercises. Find it at voicelessonstotheworld.com. Finally, if you'd like free vocal tips sent to you each day, sign up at dailyvocaltips.com.